Hello guys, today we are going to see uh, what is the indexers in the C-sharp. So before going to uh, tell you what exactly the indexers, uh, so let li write me a basic uh, example of index indexers. Okay. So indexer generally what it is actually, uh, so you can uh, define, uh, declare the indexers. Uh, it is same like a uh, property, okay, it's, a, it's kind of a special property where you can uh, declare the indexers. So let, uh, let's show you first uh, how to declare it. So here, okay, I'll just uh, create a class called home. Okay, so here uh, let's go and uh, declare the indexer. So as I said, this indexer is like kind of a special property, okay, so where uh, it will be uh, declared uh, by um, the return type. So, okay, so we call it uh, here the return type uh, string and then you have to use the a keyword called this then the square bracket so here in the square bracket you can uh, define the input type parameter and the key key of that okay so yes okay so okay uh, let's uh, go on to create and and then get set okay Okay, return null. Cool. For now. Okay, fine. So this is the way to declare the indexer. So indexer looks like same like a property, but what is the uh, main difference here is there is a keyword called this. So what th this uh, indexer will do is, so with the help of the indexer, you can uh, use uh, your class as a collection, collection of array. So where uh, you can input some values and use your class as a collection you no need to declare and the another property kind of so let's uh, go and do that so here mm, okay fine so i want to store my uh, class uh, collection in the dictionary so let's uh, so as, I, as we know like property so we used to create the uh, property uh, private property where we uh, we can uh, field where we can assign the uh, set and get values to the property the same we will do now okay the private so here I using the dictionary to store the value okay so let's uh, my key as uh, integer or uh, even we can call it a string as well not a problem a string okay and the value value also maybe the string okay call it as uh, uh, db we call it something like that mm. okay fine so we declare the dictionary and the set we just set the value okay and the return return here we passing the key for that value Okay, uh, so uh, so here the input type is string. So okay, fine. So now what I did here is, so the I just uh, created one private uh, field and I just uh, assigned to my uh, indexers. So when I, so what I'm doing is I'm just uh, set uh, the value uh, dictionary uh, to my uh, input key, the current value and same thing I retrieving, I use the DB with the current key. Okay, that's cool. So let's go on how to uh, uh, use the indexers. Okay, so here I have a, a class program. Okay, so let's I go and uh, create the instance of my home class. Okay, home, new home. Cool. So here, here is the thing. So now, as I said, I can uh, use my class as my collection so that's what i going to do so this property 
what it will do is so it will enable you this home to act see it it, it, it it's act like uh, uh, to store uh, the collections okay so uh, so once i uh, declare this so uh, see the matched uh, here my uh, the input uh, uh, type is uh, a string and uh, the value so same thing it asking here okay we call it the name okay i'll, I'll give the key as the name and and the value for this key is okay go freelancer okay okay then i can can add an, another key okay description okay okay this is tutorial okay cool fine so with the help of the indexers so we can able to convert my class as the collection so even class or destruct is the same process okay so then how to retrieve it's very simple so console dot so as i using the pro console program so let's go and write that okay i just go and call my home with the key name and same for the description description and then finally console dot read key okay cool so let's uh, run this okay it's printed me the value of the name and for the description so hopefully you understand so indexer is like uh, it's kind of uh, a special property where it helps you to convert your classes uh, collections so thanks for watching the video if you have any doubt queries you can share your uh, comments in the comment section and uh, subscribe if you are not subscribed my channel before so that you will get the notification of the new videos like this